In this quick video on Go Repairs, I'm going to show you how to make a battery from a cola can and a penny. First off, we need to empty the can, so pour the contents into a cup and put to one side as we'll be using that later. Using a can opener, cut off the top. Don't throw it away as I'll be showing you a use for it in another video. Now clean and dry the inside of the can. Next, we have to remove the plastic coating inside, so get your wire wool and start scrubbing. I found a way to speed up the process was to stuff a load of wire wool into the can, then use a spade bit in a drill to rapidly turn it. Be careful not to apply too much pressure as you don't want to pierce the can. Make sure you clean out any pieces of wire wool when you've finished. Pour the contents back in from the cup, attach a crocodile clip to your penna and dip it into the drink. Use another crocodile clip to attach to the can itself. If we take a reading we can see we're producing some voltage. To increase the voltage we can add a bit of salt. Another way to increase the voltage is to add more cola cans and then connect them in series. Now we have enough voltage to light a small LED. As you can see you're not going to power your home anytime soon, but this knowledge might pull you out of a scrape. Next I'm going to show you how to get this kind of result by making one small change to the setup. I'm starting with an empty clean can, prepared the same way as before. Then I add my penna, but this time I add drain cleaner and look at the results. Now let's see what we get if we add our cans in series. This is a much more useful result but if you try this, I'd advise you do it in a well ventilated area. Now you have the knowledge, if your mobile lab breaks down in the desert, you'll be able to charge the battery. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like rating. You can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos, then please click on the subscribe button. And on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.